Mastering Idioms, Close the Book on. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English idioms. Our focus will be on the phrase, close the book on. This idiom is not just about finishing a good read but holds a deeper meaning in various contexts. Stay tuned as we decode its nuances and learn how to use it effectively in everyday conversations. The phrase, close the book on, is a versatile idiom used to signify the end or completion of something. It's not about literally closing a book after reading, but metaphorically closing the chapters on a situation, project, or period in one's life. This idiom suggests a definitive end, often with no intention of revisiting the matter. Personal context. In personal scenarios, close the book on might relate to moving on from past relationships, life stages, or personal growth. For example, after years of reflection, she finally closed the book on her college days and looked forward to new adventures. Professional context. In professional settings, the phrase can imply the conclusion of projects, business deals, or even careers. For instance, the company decided to close the book on the project after the market analysis revealed low potential for profit. Historical or event context. This idiom is also used in discussing historical events, suggesting that a particular event is concluded and, possibly, lessons have been learned. For example, with the signing of the peace treaty, the leaders hope to close the book on years of conflict. While using this idiom, ensure not to confuse it with simply finishing a book or a task. The essence of close the book on lies in its finality and the conscious decision to not reopen what has been closed. It's not about temporary pauses but about permanent endings or transitions. To master this idiom, try incorporating it into your daily conversations or writing. Here are a few prompts to get you started. Reflect on an experience you've moved on from and describe it using, close the book on. Discuss a historical event and explain how a nation or community closed the book on that period. And that's a wrap on our journey through the idiom, close the book on. We hope this video has shed light on this expressive phrase and you feel more confident in using it. Remember, language is a bridge connecting us to countless stories and experiences. So, keep exploring, and don't hesitate to close the book on hesitation and open a new chapter in your language learning journey.